Hello, my name is Gordon M. Sparapa. I have had a 21 year, 6 month working experience in PT Industry at TBK, engaged in telecommunication industry in Indonesia country. My job of years career in PT Industry at TBK was begun in electrical engineering school from 1989 to 1992, remaining in building technical management division in headquarters office, Jakarta, with the area of responsibility for my job were as follows. A. Operation department for the whole building mechanical and electrical equipment centralized on CCMS of building automation system. B. Maintenance department for mechanical and electrical equipment such as one power plant system in Polpi, commercial power electricity service provider input, Genset UPS. 2. Air conditioning system comprising of chiller, heating ventilation air condition, precision air condition. 3. Water pump system involving commercial water service provider intake, main pump, jockey pump, hydrogen pump, diesel pump, submersible pump, 4. Fire alarm and fire fighting, 5. and so on. On the next step of my career, my previous company then gave some new challenge opportunities for career enhancement by giving me some responsibilities to handle the huge development projects comprising of one first test project in 1992 till 1993, including telecommunication services office building, international telecommunication switching center, international telecommunications transmission maintenance center, and also the other supporting facilities as well as operation takeover for telecommunications border com between Batam and Singapore countries switched from PT Telecom Indonesia to PT Indonesia TBK to second place project in 1994 till 1995 with the provision of the trust and responsibility by the company to handle the development project for infrastructure construction and a station in Bukit Mata Puching, Batam Island including other infrastructure facilities, new microplane from Batam Island, Indonesia to Singapore country and Batam Island, Indonesia to Pangrang Hill, Johor, Malaysia country and new fiber optic link from project site Bukit Mata Kuching leading to the Indosat's operational assisting office in Sukupang, Batam Island, Indonesia. On, once the project is completed, I worked a lot in tele in telecommunications operations and maintenance departments. In my resume of working scopes for telecommunications engineering field, I had some experience with having two types of jobs to be handled simultaneously as related to the role of telecoms engineer. Consisted of one, telecommunication transmission backbone, two, customer list line network. Responsibilities for the role scope of Telecommunication transmission backbone were as follows: a. ONM for direct transmission network devices in the telecommunication central station office, such as RF microwave link, microwave link, fiber optics, multiplexer, satellite station, HPA and LNA, GCA, wireline modem, SDSL, VSAT, video conference devices, etc. b. Traveling into several remote stations for checklist of operation and maintenance de devices parameters. C. Handling the network operational disruption or fault and solving the problems to keep continuing normally. D. On call duties within 7 by 24 hours. E. Updating database of operations and maintenance for the whole telecommunications network operating devices. F having some working coordination or meeting with other telecommunications parties. G. Listing of all operating RF used and registered to BRTI Indonesian services by the name of Badan Regulasi Telecommunication Indonesia for legal procedures proceeding to Frequency Directorate Government Agency. H. Making some reports periodically to manager such as weekly, monthly, quarterly, I, and so on. Responsibilities ro for the role scope of customers' list line network. A. Surveying the customer's <coughs> location as following up the customer's need for subscription of list line network using the planet network configuration like PSAT, microwave, radio link, 
our SDSL modem wireline be designing the network configuration to be deployed based on some considerations such as the result of survey analysis, link calculation budget for the terrestrial link use, line of sight, she preparing the completed inventory for devices, equipments, tools, and testers needed for the installation in local customer premises. The finding out the kind of end user equipment interface, electrical pin assignment, to be next connected and integrated with terrestrial network interface for making the service run well. E arranging the installation working time frame and R F S schedule and coordinating with the personnel of a broad telco network provider for the request of new circuit activation and bandwidth usage, circuit allocation time slot, terrestrial backbone, pathways used, proceeding to the commitment plan to of RFS activation circuit. G. Holding end-to-end -end test for the whole network quality within minimum 1 by 24 hours. H. On-call duties for 7 by 24 hours for customer complaint of list line net network fault. I. And so on. Occasionally, I ever had a kind of specific experiences handling some customers for the role of customers list line network, especially which engage in industry of mining, oil and gas, agriculture cultivation, were as follows. PT Caltex oil and gas industry in Pekanbaru, Riau, Indonesia, using VZ. PT Mes Dermot oil and gas industry in Batuang, Parbatang Island, Indonesia, using RF microwaveplane. PT Arun LNG oil and gas industry in Lok Sumawe, Aceh Province, Indonesia, using Vizard RF microwaveplane and inland cable. PT Pertamina oil and gas industry in Sumatra Island, Indonesia, using RF microwaveplane and Vizard. PT Semen Padang in West Sumatra, Sumatra Island, Indonesia, using RF microwaveplane and Vizard. Many companies from agriculture cultivation company sector in Sumatra Island. One of them is a customer in Bitung, Sulawesi Island, using Vizard connected with central office in Medan, Sumatra Island, both geographical locations has time zone differentiation. I consider myself that I have qualification as unique and I have good motivation for progress and growing, eager to learn, hard worker, and fast learner type of person that will bring benefit to you into your company. I'm surely confident that I will be able to contribute effectively. I'm looking forward to hearing from you in the, in the near future. Thank you. Bye-bye.